Suppose you invest $5,000 in an account with an annual interest rate of 6% compounded monthly. So if the annual rate is 6%, if we divide 6% by 12, we get the monthly interest rate of 0.5% each month. At the end of each month, you deposit $175 into the account. Use this information to complete the table below, round to the nearest cent as needed. So you open the account with $5,000, so we'll call $5,000 the ending balance for month zero, or when you open the account. This becomes the prior balance for the first month, and then during the first month, you earn 0.5% of interest on the $5,000. So we need to find 0.5% of 5,000. To find the percent of a number, we convert the percent to a decimal and multiply. 0.5% as a decimal is 0.005, and then we have times 5,000, which is equal to 25. You earn $25 of interest in the first month. Then you make the deposit of $175, and therefore the ending balance for month one is 5,000 plus 25 plus 175, which is $5,200. This becomes the prior balance for month two. And then during month two, you earn 0.5% of interest on the $5,200. So the interest is 0.5% of 5,200, which is 0.005 times 5,200, which is equal to 26 you earn $26 of interest during the second month. And then you make a deposit of $175 into the account. The ending balance is 5,200 plus 26 plus 175, which is $5,401. This becomes the prior balance for month three. And now during month three, you earn 0.5% of interest on $5,400. $1. And now let's use the calculator to determine 0.5% of 5,401. 0.5% as a decimal is 0.005, and then we have times 5,401. Going to the nearest cent, or two decimal places, we have $27.01. You earn $27.01 of interest during the third month, and then you make the deposit of $175. The ending balance for month three is 5,401 plus 27.01 plus 175, which is $5,603 and one cent. This becomes the prior balance for month four. During the fourth month, you earn 0.5% interest on the balance of $5,603.01. So now we need to find 0.5% of this amount. So we have 0.005 times 5,603.01, enter. To the nearest cent, we have $28.02. You earn $28.02 of interest during month four then you make the deposit of $175, and therefore the ending balance is the sum of these three values, which is $5,806.03. This becomes the prior balance for month five. Then you earn 0.5% interest on this amount during month five. Let's now find 0.5% of this balance. We have 0.005 times $5,806.03, which is $29.03. You earn $29.03 of interest during the fifth month. The ending balance for month five is the sum of these three values, which is $6,010.06. I hope you found this helpful.